There you go, look at that. That is Bakewell Tart Me. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick today. We're doing a traditional. We're doing a traditional from the 19th century from Bakewell in Derbyshire in the UK. We're making the Bakewell Tart. Now I've had many requests, so we're going to crack on and do it. First off, we've got to make some pastry. You've seen me make the pastry loads of times. But I'm going to crack on, make the pastry. I'm going to blind bake it in the high sapientia 24 litre air fryer. And then going to make the filling, stuff it in the tart casing, stuff it in there, cook it for about 30 minutes, thereabouts, and we should have a, a lovely Bakewell tart. So let's crack on and show you how to do it, come on. I've got shortening and butter. I'm going in with a pinch of salt and then we're going to get in here and we are going to give it a mixing up. Just get your hands in, bring it together, finger and thumbs, nice and gently, just squash it in there. You know, and as you can see here, this is not cold butter by any means. It's butter that's been sat on the side, not to worry. It'll still make a fantastic shortcut pastry. So nice and gently, finger and thumbs, lift up, squeeze together lightly, just lightly squeeze together. And then all we do is we just lift up and give it a rub. Lift up, give it a rub, rub it through our fingers and thumbs and just lift up and give it a rub. It's as easy as that. As you know, you can make pastry in a food processor and takes only a, a few seconds. However, it takes 10 minutes to clean. Whereas you make the pastry in a bowl, it takes five minutes and one minute to clean the bowl. So this might be a better option. So lift up, give a rub. And what we're after is the consistency of breadcrumbs nice and straightforward lift rub rub through your finger and thumbs just lift up and rub so there we go that's looking okay we've got a nice breadcrumb consistency there fantastic I've got a bowl of water and I'm going to add apple cider vinegar to the water. I'm going to crack in an egg and we're going to give it a beating. Just beat it all up and then we are going to add our beaten egg to our flour mixture. Get it in there, turn over the fork you've been using and stir it in with a handle. And when you've got it mixed in as much as it'll go, we've got to get our hand in and bring it all together. Nice and straightforward this. Just bring it together gently so the dry stuff gets in with the wet stuff and we end up with a really nice workable dough. As you can see, this is a nice crumbly, no-fail pastry. It looks superb. Just bring the ball together and then we have too much for one pie here. We're going to split it in two. Now you can freeze one half of this or you can just leave it in the fridge for another project. It's just easier to make this quantity because we use a whole egg. As you can see it's nice, it's crumbly, well formed. All we need to do is roll it into a dish shape and put it in some cling film. Okay, with that other half of pastry then, we just put some flour on Then We're gonna roll it out. Flour up your pan, start rolling. Let's have it rolled out to the size of our nine inch tin. Very easy, just roll it out and then we're gonna put it in our lined tin. I always line my tins, 
that's big enough not a problem okay just put it in and work it into the sides and down to the bottom just push it in lift it up push in it'll drop down then we need to dock the pastry we need to put some holes in the bottom with a fork and that's going to stop it from rising up in with a bit of parchment paper some baking beads and we are going to blind bake in the oven 180 15 minutes take it out take out the baking beads and put it back in the oven for another five minutes okay now we've got our tart case cooling on there let's crack on with the filling now the filling can't be any easier butter sugar we're going to cream those together Now I picked a small bowl today, I don't know why, but anyway, not to worry. Okay, so with every, every recipe that I do, you know, it always says add beaten egg or whatever, you know, and it always says add one at a time. So I put them all in. Now I've changed up the recipe just a little. I've got some self-raising flour. Now, traditionally, a Bakewell tart is just ground almond. That's all it is, or ground almond, whichever way you want to pronounce it, that's up to you. So I'm just going to go in there with my flour, a little pinch of salt. The fantastic thing about um, blending your eggs with a little bit of flour, they do not curdle. I get asked so many times on the channel. Okay, add a little bit of flour. Get it in there, you're gonna blend it anyway. Right, almond extract, about a teaspoon. And then we're just gonna blend that together. Oven on. Oven on, we're going to do about 160. 160 is going to be fine. So I'll let it preheat. In there with our ground almonds. Give that a little beating in. Raspberry jam or strawberry jam? Most bakewell tarts are made with raspberry jam. But if you put strawberry jam in, so be it get a layer of jam on there but you know come on if you've got blackberry jam in the cupboard or apricot jam use that it doesn't matter you just want that nice sweet base when you actually eat into your Bakewell tart. Okay, don't forget to lick the spoon. Mm -mm. Now, our mix on there. Mm. Fantastic. Okay, let's get that on a tree straight away, like that. Now, the Bakewell tart has sliced almonds on and you can just chuck them all over or you can put them on in a pretty pattern that's up to you so depending on what almonds you have depends on what you want to do so nice and steady get your almonds around there cake done almonds on that's going in the air fryer we're going in 160 degrees and we are going to go for 
We're going to go for 30 minutes to start off with. And we are on. Okay, I've just come down to the bake setting on here because it looks like it's going to be browning too quick at that temperature. So we're on 140 degrees now on low fan. Okay, all we've got to do now is have a look and stick a skewer in to see if it's cooked. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's clean. That's clean. That cake is cooked. Let's get that out of there. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely tremendous. Smells wonderful. It feels quite firm. I was thinking it might sink down. If it doesn't sink down, we've created a monster. And when it cools down a little minute, we'll dust over some icing to camouflage the top a little bit, make it look like a professional cake. That looks superb. Okay, we gotta get that out of there. That is still warm. Oh, we're a little bit stuck there, look. Just at this side. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Right, this thing's still a bit warm actually, but we need to get that on a plate. Does it need camouflaging? I don't think it does. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I actually think that that is one good looking cake. However, in the interest of making it look a bit short bought, this is icing sugar. And we are going to chuck this on from a great height, make a mess everywhere and dust this cake. All we got to do now is get in for a slice. So let's come in here. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely superb. Look at that. All we got to do now <laughs> is give it a taste test. There you go, look at that. That is Bakewell tart made. Traditional Bakewell tart. What is it? <laughs> what does it taste like? Straight through that almond. Oh, listen to the crunch of that pastry. Oh, the softness of that cake mixture. Oh. That is amazing. You've got that raspberry jam in there. That is absolutely fabulous. That lovely, and it's still warm this. It's gonna be fantastic when it's cooled down. It's still warm. Mind you, there's nothing wrong with warm cake, is there? <laughs> Frangipan, lovely. The almond flavor through there. It's a lovely, soft, moist cake. We've got the raspberry jam and the buttery pastry. And obviously with a couple of toasted almonds. Mm. And don't forget that this fabulous cake is all cooked in that high sapienti air fryer. Well, if you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. We'll catch you in the next video.